there are two courses available. Which would you prefer? Beginner course or experience course? I'm doing the beginner, you're doing the experienced. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how this goes. Ready? Hey, hey! Welcome back to Bananas in Japan, where today we're ranking three demos just for your enjoyment. Gravity Rush 2, Detroit Become Human, and Resident Evil 3 Remake. I oh, died. honey. So let's start with third place. Resident Evil 3 Remake is a survival horror game developed and published by Capcom. It's a remake of the 1999 version, and this one was released on Windows, PlayStation 4, Xbox One on April 3rd, 2020. I want to teabag him too. How do you teabag? You know, you, you drop your you nuts crouch? on their face. Can you, yeah. Can you crouch? How? I thought you could. Oh, you got back up! Who does that? The zombies that don't like being uh, teabagged, I think. I'm glad I didn't put my nuts near their face. Ah! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> ah! I missed! Ah! <laughs> oh, no! The game received generally good reviews with praise for its graphics and presentation, but was criticized for its short length and missing features from the original. Not that that affected the sales, though, as it shipped over 2 million copies within a week of release. As before, Jill Valentine and Carlos Oliveira are trying to survive a zombie apocalypse while being hunted by the intelligent bioweapon Barney the Dinosaur as he tries to tickle through the world's population and kill them one by one. And I won't be buying it if it's on offer because this game's not for me. What about you? It's not the top of my list, but it's a fantastic game and if anyone said they're a huge fan, I wouldn't argue. Like, you say you like Nintendogs, I might, you might hear something from me. And now for second place, Gravity Rush 2 is an action-adventure video game sequel, of course, to Gravity Rush. It's developed by Sony's Japan studio and published on the PS4 in 2017. The core mechanic of this game is the player's ability to manipulate gravity, allowing unique movements and navigation. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And, it look, and the gameplay is so much fun. Critics have given high scores across the board and praised the Ghibli-esque visuals and the changes made from the original, but have criticised it for the issues that the camera has when you're working in small spaces. This is the first demo that I've played that I had no idea about and I'm genuinely interested about how much it costs and if I can yeah. play it afterwards. Oh, this is so much fun just fucking around. So how much will you, would you pay for this? It's a good question. Um, I might wait for a deal, just based on how many games I have to play. But if this is on a deal right now, I'd seriously consider it. Ding ding ding! And we have a winner! This is Detroit Become Human, which was developed by Quantic Dream and published by Sony in 2018. It's an adventure game that has a story that branches out depending on which choices are made through quick time events and dialogue decisions. No Barney the Dinosaur in this one, unfortunately. The story has so many paths that playable characters can die and the story can continue without them. Critics gave the game generally high scores and it was nominated for numerous awards for the stories and the visuals. This is awesome! Oh There's shit, so six, many good games out right now! 62% probability yeah. of just dropped. Yeah, talk to me when you're at 40. <laughs> the game provides the player with a lot of difficult decisions that need to be made and they can be viewed after the completion of chapters and in certain situations can be rewound to amend them. The plot follows three androids and the issues they experience as they serve humans and covers themes such as discrimination, racism and abuse. Sacrifice self. Uh, use gun. Oh no! Oh shit! What do you do? I didn't do anything. Oh no, 62 percent. What are you doing? Shit. Oh no, what is he doing? He's not gonna shoot. Oh shit. If you lose a girl, I will be so... Oh, he's jumping. Grab the girl. What? Yeah, the, he just pushed the girl onto the roof and he's jumping off with a bad guy. Whoa. So you saved her? Yeah, but I'm jumping. To save him? To, no, yeah? No, to stop him from taking her. Mission successful. This looks like a, a corker of a game. He jumped with her. No. I'm not... Oh, it's not le letting me choose. Oh, I'm diving, and I've missed them both. 
<laughs> they both fall. That's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they both died. I survived though. So that's the first time I've survived. <laughs> nice. Mission fail. <laughs> I just walk out like nothing's happened. <laughs> it's like, oh, I did all I could. <laughs>